Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be continuing on with the survival series, and we'll be adding our body temperature onto the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and locate our uh, game HUD. So we'll go into UI and open it up. All right, and we're just going to go ahead and take our world temperature here. So we're going to select this horizontal box. We're going to copy it with Control C, then we'll click on our canvas panel and hit Control V, and that will just paste it back on where we need it. Okay, so then we'll take our text block block here, and I'm gonna rename this to how about body temp text. That'll be good. All right, and now next we need to relocate it. Um, so I guess let's actually just to make them you know more uh, I guess categoried better <laughs> if that's even a word. Uh, I'm gonna move the time down, and then we'll fit our whole, our body temperature uh, in place of the time. Okay. So we'll take our time here, uh, the horizontal box, I mean, and we'll change its position Y to about 160. Okay, now our horizontal box, we can move into position. So position X will say negative 40. Okay, and then position Y will say 100. So it should look something like that right now. Now for world, or for the text here, for this text block, we're gonna change world to body, just like that, okay? Now, next we'll go into our graph, and we're gonna create a new function. And we'll go ahead and call this function set body temp. All right, we'll add two inputs onto it. First one will be a float, and we'll call this float temperature. Then we'll add another one that we'll make uh, of type E degree type. There it is. And we'll just call it degree type. Okay, so we can compile and save now. Now with this function, we're gonna right click, promote this temperature to a local variable, and we'll just call it temp, just so it's easier to work with. And then for degree type, we're gonna do a switch on degree type. Okay, so depending on whether it's in Fahrenheit or Celsius, we'll format our text a little differently. So let's go ahead and do uh, the Fahrenheit first. So we'll take temp, we'll get it, and um, you can do the two, if you recall in one of the previous videos, we made a function for uh, converting Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. So you could do the Celsius to Fahrenheit um, if, if you're working in Celsius, right? Otherwise, just take temp and just plug it in how, you know, normally. So we'll take temp here and we're going to say to text, okay, because we need to format the float a little bit. So we'll say to text and I'm going to say uh, half from zero. That's kind of my favorite method of rounding. Uh, and then we want to change minimum fractional digits here to one and max to one as well. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is, uh, well, you know, our end goal here is we want to set our time or let's see, our body temp text. So we'll get this, we'll drag out and we'll say set text. We want to set text of text. So we'll plug that into the switch or Fahrenheit. Now, next what we're gonna do is, uh, if you followed along in some of the previous videos, I use what's called a format text node. So we're gonna use that again. So we'll say format text. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this really easily. And we're simply just going to do bracket, temperature, end bracket. Okay, and then we'll do a space, bracket, degree, bracket. So it should look like that. So in brackets, temperature, space, then in brackets, degree. Okay, so that'll give us two values that we can plug in. So for this one, uh, for temperature, we'll just plug this in. And then um, we'll scoot this over a little bit, actually, so we have some space. And then for degree, we'll say make literal text. Okay. And then since it's, uh, excuse me, since it's a degree and it's Fahrenheit, we're going to use a capital F. Okay, now I'm going to zoom back out. And now we can essentially just do the same exact thing uh, for Celsius, but then we just need to convert our temperature into Celsius. Okay, so we'll take all of this, copy and paste it down here. I'm going to plug this into Celsius, uh, but we'll add a reroute node to make it a little tidier. All right. And then we'll change our value here to C uh, because it's Celsius this time. And finally, we'll take our temp. We'll get it, and we'll say uh, Fahrenheit 
to Celsius, okay, because we're converting or we're using Fahrenheit, right? So I'm going to plug that in, compile and save. All right, so there we go. We have our function ready. So if we press play really quick, you'll see that it's showing body temp and just text block, okay? So now let's go ahead and uh, go into our character because this is where we need to update it, all right? So go into the update body temp function, okay? Uh, which should be, you know, right here, update body temp. And basically, after each one of these, we're going to call this uh, this function on our UI. Okay, so we'll get our game HUD reference here. And we're going to say set body temp. So we'll scroll or zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. All right, now the temperature is going to be our body temp. All right, and then degree type can either be this degree type, right? Or if you want to make sure, make sure, like absolutely make sure that it stays consistent with your weather manager, you can get the degree type from your weather manager and plug it in. Okay, so um, I guess that would be my recommended way, but uh, yeah, so we'll so we'll go with that. Okay, so we'll compile and save. So I guess technically, you know, you don't need this degree temp or type variable anymore, so we can get rid of it. Oh wait, it's in use. Where is it being used? Let's go find where it's being used. No results found. It's not being used. It thinks it's being used because this variable is the same. So uh, we'll get rid of that really quick. Then we can delete that, compile and save. And now we can get our degree type again and hook that up. All right, easy little fix there. So now we just need to take all these and plug them in. Okay. go oops don't grab the function grab the pin all right last one there we go okay so it should be looking you know something like this like a big bulb going on all right so now we're doing that now we need to go back to the event graph and we need to start that timer so we'll take our start update body temp timer add it in here let's double click to open it now before we start the timer let's actually call uh, this same functionality right here so that we make sure that on event begin play right we update it so we'll say uh, we'll just copy all this go back here paste it hook it up create a little spacing compile and save and that should be everything now so let's just double check make sure we're doing everything right okay we want to be uh, off of the you know the event begin play sequence we want to make sure that we are setting our weather manager we are starting the timer okay make sure you call this function to update our you know our game HUD right away all right um, let's see we're updating you know the temperature based on this get modified temp it's going in we're modifying the values okay just make sure that you have all those values the way you want them um, or you know how I have them I guess uh, and then again, you're updating the temperature. Okay, now the modify temp, it does this. Okay, regulate body temp is doing this big thing. Okay, checking if body temperature is currently greater than our desired body temperature plus the variation we can have. Right, and then it's trying to regulate us back to our desired body temp. All right, and then same thing down here. It's checking if it's less than this time and then regulating back up. And then this one here um, is just for if we are within that little range, then we're going to modify our value around uh, our desired body temp. So let's go ahead and press play and try this out. So we press play. You can see in the top right our world temperature and body temp. You'll see that our body temp just went up a little bit, and that's because we're above 75, which is you know which is uh, you know above one of those category ranges. So it should increase, but now we're kind of falling back into that homeostasis kind of category, you know, that's between 65 and 75. So it'll try to regulate us between, you know, roughly between 98.5 and 98.7, give or take. All right, so as we drop back down, you see that it'll, um, so we're at 98.9 now. We go back down, 99. All right, so there we go. It starts to drop back to where, you know, kind of where we want it. 
And there you go. So you see it's working, right? It's regulating itself, and that's great. So now, based on this, right, um, we'll be able to, you know, eventually in the future start changing up different world temperatures uh, or adding, like, weather modifier volumes, um, you know, adding, adding clothing modifiers to the temperature, and that will all ultimately, you know, influence what our character's body temperature is, all right? So there you have it. There's how to... Uh, I guess show the body temperature on the screen and how to finally you know finish it up and have it working so uh, Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video uh, if you like it like or subscribe and I will see you in the next one